Okay, next up we have Robin Willison, who is here from Hackerspace Adelaide to talk about a robot that they built for um, a program which she'll tell you about now. So please make her welcome. Thank you very much. This little robot here is an FHT bot. And Hackerspace Adelaide Group helped design these for the public to make at Maker Fair. So the first year we made a badge, and last year and this year, last year was version one, and this is version two of the little robot. So Hackerspace Adelaide has three locations, one in the city at the Australian Network of Arts and Technologies, one in the western suburbs at a community centre, and one in the inner south at Flinders University, and we get to use their digital fabrication lab. So the little robot has 3D printed wheels and 3D printed battery holders and laser cut body. Now, um, I'm reading my notes over there, so please excuse my peering at the screen. So with the robot, we wanted to show how a device can be easily set up and secure as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So the little robot is actually a hotspot itself. You connect to it from your mobile device or from your laptop and you control it in a web browser. All the software is on here. It's an ESP8266 chip. And we wanted to allow a majority of web browsers to connect to the robot. We had fun with some, some with timing, things like that, getting them to work. The majority of browsers now work. We wanted to be able to control motors, use sensors. It's got a um, bumper bar on the front, so when it runs into things, it, can, it knows backs off, turns, it's got eyes, it's got ultrasonics. The kids love it. The ages building these were four and up. And the oldest probably in their 60s, early 70s. The kids were with their parents. We had two kids per parent. And parents supervising the kids and helpers, 20 people at a, 20 bots being built at a time. Okay, what else do we need to know off of there? I've lost my mouse pointer again. No, there it is. John, I can't scroll my notes. There's my mouse, now I can. So before the day, we designed it. made the parts, the part, the individual components were ordered. We had a production line of people from Hackerspace, the surface mount on the board, the through hole, all done beforehand. It was a put together project on the day. The notes, I'll catch that and pull it off. The, we're in a booklet form. We basically photographed the, the step we were at. If you were screwing a screw into this part, you laid them all out with your screwdriver and took the photo. We described each step and that made the notes. If people were following these, they were pretty self-explanatory and people were making things. We had a picture of all the parts, and we got people to identify their parts before, the, before they started building. There was an Oc Health and Safety talk, because we were in one of the Flinders labs for the day. And it was um, how not to gouge your hand with a screwdriver. And um, Damien, who runs that lab, said, and how many people have done that before? And we're all putting our hands up, and all the parents are looking around going, right. <laughs> And they're going to teach us. So 
So we talked about the process, about how the parts were put together, about 3D printing, about laser cutting. The kids were really great with building these. Some of them were so, so attention wise. Some of them were right into it, really, really wanted to be there. And then you get the kid whose parent hasn't put their name down and goes screaming out the door because the older kid's allowed to build it and they're not. And we said, you sit with them, they can build it. So we had a few spares spirited away in the corner that no one knew about that would just come out magically for incidents like that. And that was our day. Boy, was it a day. Four groups. We were booked out by lunchtime. Groups of 20. We probably had about five or six helpers each session from Hackerspace and very full on. So if I can get control of this, I'm going to show you the interface for the robot. So, mouse off that screen onto this one. We also had the kids think of a name for their robot because at the moment when you first flash the firmware they're called, all called FHT bot and the MAC address. Which when you turn them all on, the cutest name was Robot Rainbow. One of the little girls wanted to call hers Robot Rainbow. My Wi-Fi hasn't found it. There it is. So as far as controlling the robot, it's the website fhtbot.com. And on, on screens, this start button takes up the whole screen. On a phone, it doesn't. <laughs> there. What didn't you like? <laughs> no, I can't see that low, so. <laughs> Got it? So, besides the driving it around. There is turtle mode, which is a basic scratch-like language. Okay, there's some examples on the side. This one here is drawing a square. Drag the example onto the dotted area, which is your desktop, and press run. You going to turn your square or not? No. I did square. What's up with you? It shouldn't be flashing like that either. <laughs> it should be going forward, turning 90 degrees in a loop. Okay? Doesn't want to today. Put that whole program in the bin and see if we can draw a star. No, it's totally not. That's when you reboot it. Because they do lose connectivity. 
and when you turn it on, it goes through flashing its lights, they're all red, and then it does a little green smiley, and that's when you know it's happy. Come on, your batteries are better than that. It's very shy today. I don't know whether it likes the carpet or not. Okay, besides the code area, there's a driver assist mode. For those who can't drive, it'll back off things when it gets too close. It flashes all its lights red as if to say, ah, and it backs off. Sounds. How does the little thing play sound? There's no speaker. It's the motors. Can I? I'll see if it's going to come through the microphone. Yep, charge, Imperial March, Mario themes, like little MIDI tunes. And there's an obstacle avoidance mode besides the driver assist. So, it'll run around the, in obstacle avoidance mode, you can just set it going and it will just run around the floor and avoid things. In driver assist mode, you've got to actually drive it. So, that's my talk. Any questions? <laughs> yes? Oh, I mean, this is a fantastic community project, but are they gonna, is it going to be available for anyone else to do? That's so, always the question. Are the robots available to purchase? The board is being made available to get made. The rest of the inf information about the parts is laser cut and 3D printed. Okay, So those files are being made available. Besides what you see there, when you're not connected to the robot, and you go to the same website, I've got to change over to Linux Conf. That's what I want. You go to the same, got to get my mouse on that screen now. You have the website of the project, all the information, Using your FHT bot, beginners is the turtle mode, advanced is all the stuff that we did to get the software on there. Assembly of the Mark I and the Mark II, and Hackerspace Adelaide's Facebook contact details. Okay, any other questions? Oh. Thank Excellent. You very much.